friends, I'm Coach Marsha. Today I've got a lean leg workout. We're gonna tone, strengthen, tighten up that lower body. We are all standing today, totally low impact. Weights are optional. You, if you choose to use them, you can use anywhere between five and 10 pounds max. Um, we will be using a circle resistance band for one of the exercises. Again, that's totally optional. Perfectly good if you don't have one. Um, other than that, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll meet you for the warm up. Let's get started with a little warm up stand. Wide feet are pointed out to the corners of the room. Circle the arms up and around, plie deep. And let's keep circling right here. Come up to your toes at the top if you're feeling it. One more time around, let's stop at the top and let's reverse those arms. Get the whole body worked up, warmed up. And let's clasp those fingers, press up to the ceiling. Give me a gentle, careful side bend. Breathe into that, drop the bottom leg to this bottom arm to this side, knee. Enjoy that stretch, breathe into it. Circle around, meet at the top again, clasp those fingers, press. And let's bend the other way. Drop that bottom arm, get a good side stretch. And let's march it out right here. Get those knees nice and high. We're gonna march it wide right here, step it out. Knees come up, core is tight, swing those arms, get everything going. And let's side step, arm cross. Show that upper body a little love, even though we're really all about the legs today. March it again. This time we're gonna warm up those hips. We're gonna circle, step over the gate, step up and around, warm up the hip, go the other way. Keep going, alternating sides. Don't forget to breathe. One more time each side, then we're gonna reverse that motion right here so then he goes up and round in front. You got it, up those hips. Enjoy, get nice and warmed up. One more time each side right here. And we are good to go. You ready to get going? Let's do it. I'm gonna set my timer for 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest. The first round I'm not gonna do with any weights. We'll see, we're gonna go three rounds total. Join me here now for some walking lunges. Now I'm a little bit um, short on space. So I, you could probably do your walking lunges a little more easily than I can. We're just walking around the room, bringing that back knee down to the general vicinity of the floor. You don't have to touch it. This is your walking lunge. So good for the legs. Core is tight. You're looking straight ahead. Posture is good. Don't let those shoulders ride up. Keep going and breathing. All right, 15 seconds right here, shake it out. Our next move has a little bit of a cardio component and it's our skaters. And we're gonna do them as low impact as possible. So it's just step and step behind. Like so, here we go. Join me, step, step behind. Keep them low impact. Or if you wanna do the hop, you absolutely can. Totally up to you. Get a nice swing in those arms. Good stretch in the leg as you step behind. Nice job. Don't forget to breathe. And you don't have to touch that back knee down. These are our skaters. Our next exercise has a little bit of a balance challenge. You'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, so we're gonna stay on the right to start. It's a reverse lunge with a curtsy lunge. So we're gonna reverse first, come back up. You can knee up if you want, and then step back to the curtsy. So if you wanna challenge yourself for balance, this is how we do it. Join me here, reverse lunge, or you can kick stand right here and curtsy. Keep going, reverse lunge. To a curtsy, feel those hips, yeah. Or you can challenge yourself, reverse lunge knee up and balance, curtsy, knee up. Totally up to you what you feel like doing. Give the balance a try. Or if you wanna stand by a wall or a chair, 
it's definitely a balance challenge, which you may know I love. Breathing, core is engaged, balancing perhaps. Nice job, shake it out. Get ready to go on the other side. So I'm gonna reverse lunge back, sending my left foot back. Woo. You're doing great, thank you so much for showing up. Hardest part, reverse lunge to curtsy. We don't need to race these. Slow and controlled wins the race. And you could be holding hand weights here if you want to. Totally up to you. Those legs are working, those hips are working, your core is working, shoulders are down and relaxed. Posture is good. Gaze is straight ahead. Nice job. Like I said, you've already done the hardest part and that is showing up. Shake it out, take a little break here. Next, we're gonna do some side lunges. So laterally, we're gonna go all on the right to start, just like that. Hand weights or not, totally up to you. Here we go. Step it, knee tracks forward and back again. Can kickstand it right here. You could be holding your hand weights, totally up to you. Weights in that heel when you step down, stick that booty out, back is flat. Slam your breathing. Press it up nice and strong. You got it, make those legs work. Quads, a nice hamstring stretch. We've got it all going on today. Your legs will thank you. And of course, just to work out isn't the only component to lean, fabulous, like shake it out, let's get ready to go the other way. An anti-inflammatory diet. I'm looking at you, sugar, no sugar. Um, whole processed, whole unprocessed foods as much as possible. Plenty of good old water, let's go left. Lateral and step. All of those are important components to having nice, lean, strong legs. Breathing, keep that core engaged. Get a nice stretch, but not too far. Be careful with it. You don't want to strain that groin muscle. That does nobody any favors. Weight's in the heel, back is flat. Stick that booty out back. Good, so your side lunges. Next, if you've got one, we're gonna grab our circle resistance band for some banded lateral walks. So if you have just a long one, you can tie it into a circle. Put it right above your knees. We're gonna flat back, stick that booty out, weights in the heels, and we're gonna lateral walk right here. A little something for that side hip. Take however many steps you have room for. Just alternate side to side. Toes are pointed to the front of the room. Knees are tracking straight ahead. They're not flaring out or collapsing in because we want nice, strong hips. Super important that we keep those hips strong, especially those medial hips. These are your banded lateral walks. Enjoy and breathe. We're gonna take this band off for our next one, our next exercise. All right, off it comes, carefully. Our final move of the set is a squat to calf raise. So feet are hip width apart, weights in your heels. Knees are tracking straight ahead. We're gonna sit it down to a squat, squat, press it up, and then we're gonna go to a calf raise, bring it to the balls of your feet, back down, squat, squeeze, up carefully and down, keep going. Hand weight or not, totally up to you. Don't forget to breathe. This is our squat to calf raise. 
Nice job, you're doing so great. We are almost one third of the way through our workout. Nice job. All right, shake it out. We're gonna take it from the top with our walking lunges. Totally up to you if you wanna grab some weights. I'll grab mine just because I brought them out. Might as well use them. Whew. So we got walking lunges, however many steps you can take. I don't have a ton of space. Shoulders are down and relaxed. Posture is good. You're breathing, your core is engaged. Sink down. Breathing. These are your walking lunges. Great job so far. All right. Weights go down for that next, for this next one. These are our skaters, round two. Whew. For these, I don't recommend any weights at all. Okay, step, step behind, over and behind. You got it, these are our skaters. Whatever kind of impact you like. If you wanna leap, go for it. If you don't, that's good too. Let's breathe, keep that core engaged. You totally got this. Nice job on the skaters. All right, a reverse lunge to curtsy is next. We're gonna stay all on the right to start and then we'll switch over and get the left. Totally up to you if you wanna grab your weights. Here we go, step it back. Knee up or kickstand and curtsy. Kickstand or knee, whichever. Don't forget to breathe. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. We're not rushing these. These are slow and controlled. Make the muscles work. Your core is stabilizing. And use your breath. Don't forget to breathe. Sometimes it's natural to want to just hold it. Up and hold. And back, feel that side hip. Nice job, shake it out. Get ready to do the other side. Woo! This workout kind of builds on you, doesn't it? Let me know in the comments what you're up to, what you think. Here we go. Step it back left. Knee up or kickstand and curtsy. Knee up. Nice work. Balancing perhaps. Balance work pays off so much, so, so very much. I've got a whole balance series coming up that I hope you love. So keep an eye out for that. We're gonna work on balance. And I promise if you're consistent with your balance, it definitely improves quickly and dramatically. Because nobody but nobody ever wants to fall down and God forbid break something. Okay, those are our reverse lunge with curtsies. We've got our side lunges now. We're gonna do, we're gonna alternate right and left. Ooh, use your hand weights if you want. I'm just gonna be free here. I do no weights today, so lateral lunge up and the other way. Stick that booty out back. Gentle pull in that inner thigh. Back is flat as you go down. Weight is in your heels. We're not pulling or straining anything. We're not rushing. What we are doing is breathing. 
So don't forget that. These are your lateral lunges. Hit the quads, they hit the hips. Gives yourself that nice inner thigh stretch. It's all good. Our banded lateral walks are next. Grab your resistance band if you're using one. And if you need resistance band, I'll put a link below so you can grab some because they're really a wonderful tool to have. A little bend in the knees, weights in your heels, back is flat, and let's side step. Back and forth, however many steps you wanna take, your toes are facing the front of the room, as are your knees, core is engaged. A little, those knees are definitely, we're kind of like sunken down a little bit, we're kind of getting into it, stick that booty back, so we're not standing straight up. This makes those hips work, really strengthens the medial hips. Our squat to calf raise is next, so take off your resistance band if you're using one. I'm gonna hold one weight goblet style right here. Toes are pointed to the front of the room. Feet are hip width-ish apart. We're gonna squat it down, stand it up. Now here comes our calf raise and down. Squat, hug and squeeze, raise and down. You got it. Hug and squeeze, raise and down. Keep going, you're doing great. Knees are tracking straight ahead. Your gaze is straight ahead. You're breathing. You're doing so great. I'm so glad you joined me today. Your legs are gonna thank you for this. Breathing, squeeze. Nice job. Guess what? This is our third and final time through. Walking lunges are next. Woo! Enjoy our little break and get after those lunges one more time. Here we go. Step and step it through. You got it. Walking lunges. You could totally be holding weights in your hands, which I keep forgetting to do. <laughs> That's okay. Breathing, keep that core engaged. Walking lunges last time, excellent. So good, we won't be doing those anymore today. So congrats, our skaters, our final round of skaters are next. Here we go, step it and behind, over and behind. You got it. Nice and easy breezy, you've totally got this. You get nice stretch right here when you step back. Yes. Enjoy and appreciate everything your body does for you. So lightly you can step on these. Light as a feather. Breathing. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Upper body is relaxed. All right. Great job. Enjoy our rest and regroup here. Reverse lunge to curtsy lunge is next. Woo. Let's do the right side first. This is the last time we're doing these, so enjoy. Reverse lunge, upper kickstand, curtsy, knee upper kickstand, keep it going. Nice, strong hips, Woo. well balanced. You guys are rocking this. Breathing, core is working. Doing so great. 
This is a great leg day. If you need to hold on by all means, grab a chair or a wall. Nice job, shake it out. Woo. And let's get ready to go on the left. My hips are feeling these, what about you? If you need to grab water, go right ahead. I know I sure would like to, but I, I wanna finish this workout more. Here we go on the left, step it back. Knee up or kickstand, curtsy. Knee up or kickstand, reverse lunge. You got it. Keep it going. Breathing. Don't let those shoulders ride up. I know they want to. When we get tired and stressed out, the tension goes there. Your upper body is relaxing today. Our alternating side lateral lunge is next. Great job, shake it out. Woo. Side lateral lunge, get ready to go. Here we go, step it back. And the other way, up strong. Keep it going, alternate sides. If you're holding weights, you can hold them right in front of you like this. I just keep forgetting to pick mine up today. That's okay. This is a plenty good workout all on its own. Enjoy that nice stretch. Celebrate how strong you are and the progress you're making. All right, our banded lateral walks are next. Grab your resistance band if you've got one. Go just above the knees. Get ready to sink back, weights in your heels, stick that booty back, back is flat, and then we Side step. Side of the foot goes to the side of the room. Your toes face the front. Your gaze is facing the front. Just alternate side steps. As many as you want. We are almost there, my friends. We have one more exercise and then we've nailed it. We've completed our lean leg workout. Remember what I said about an anti-inflammatory diet, trying to eat as whole and unprocessed as possible. I know that's not always the easiest thing, at least not for me. Taking plenty of water as well. Here comes that squat with the calf raise. It's our final, final, my friends. We are just about there. Ooh, feet are hip width apart. Let's take it back, squeeze it up. Calf raise, hand down. Keep it going, sit down. Breathing. Up and squeeze, calf raise. You got it. Celebrate all that your body has done for you today. Make sure you recover with a protein rich meal so we can rebuild these muscle tissues that we are breaking down so we can restore and come back stronger. That's how we gain fitness, consistency, and good recovery, and by challenging our bodies. Keep it going, core is tight. Nice job, you guys, you did it. I'm so grateful you showed up today. I hope you love that as much as I do. Remember what I said about recovery. Thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.